So you want to catch a beach worm, and why wouldn't you? They're fantastic bait, and fresh worms are so much more effective than expensive frozen ones that you get from the bait shops. Beach worms can be found on beaches in Queensland, New South Wales and South Australia, but not all beaches will hold them. If you're new to an area, I'd suggest you pop into the local bait and tackle shop and see if they'll let you know if they're around and the best beaches to target them. The best time to look for a beach worm is on a low tide, and you want to be looking for those nice, big, gentle, sloping flats rather than the steep edges of the gutter. G'day, my name's Fedo. On this channel I like to share my outdoor adventures. It's my goal to become a better outdoorsman, figure out how to catch fish, find wildlife, explore the great outdoors and become a smarter camper. And as I figure out these things, I'm planning to share them on this channel. So this is my first how do I video, and what I'm hoping I can do in this video is teach you guys how to catch yourselves a beach worm. So you want to catch a beach worm. And if you're anything like me, you've been down to the beach about half a dozen times and you've had a crack. And the slippery little blighters, they just keep slipping through your fingers and you're thinking to yourself, maybe I'm just not cut out to catch a worm. Well, trust me, that's not true. Anyone can catch a worm. And with some of these tips, hopefully you will too. First thing I'm gonna tell you is you don't need pliers. I've tried with pliers and I find you just rip their heads off. You can catch them with your bare hands. Look, I work in a lab all day and these hands, they're about as soft as they come. And I can catch them with my hands, so I'm sure you can too. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is locate your worms. When I head down for a worming session, I take an old fish carcass that I keep in the freezer, along with a little bit of rope and a sand peg. I tie that fish carcass to the sand peg, then I locate my nice gentle sloping section of the beach, and as those waves are coming up and then receding, I swish that carcass backwards and forwards. And what happens is those worms, they smell that carcass and they come up to the surface seeing if they can't get themselves a feed. So what you're looking for is that water's receding with your fish carcass putting its juices and smells into the water. Is the little heads of the worms popping their heads out of the sand. As that water recedes, you can see like a little V in the water's surface. And that'll tell you you've got a worm in front of you. So now that we've found our worms, I'm gonna give you some tips that'll hopefully help you catch them. You're gonna to wanna to have yourself a little bit of bait to lure that worm out of the sand a little bit further and to distract him as you put your fingers in and around him. I find the best thing for this is about a half a pilchard inside of stocking. On this example, when I went out worming, I didn't have the stocking, but I find the stocking kind of helps as the worm's mouth gets a little bit caught up in the material and it can make it a little bit easier for you. When beach worms feed, I find they lift themselves up a little bit out of the sand and then they use that leverage to rip a chunk of bait off and pull back down into the sand. The ideal time to strike is when those worms have just lifted up and they're ready to rip off a piece of bait. So what you want to do is have your fingers in position and when you feel or see that worm lifting up, that's when you want to grab onto them. You don't only have to grab them at this time, but I've just found that that's the most successful way to do it. Another tip that I can give you, and this is probably the biggest tip, is you want to be grabbing that worm about one to two centimeters below the head. You see the head's full of all the mouth gear that the worm uses to feed. So if you can grab it one to two centimeters below the head, you kind of create a little bit of a pincer on the worm so that it can't slip through. So when you're using your bait to entice that worm out and distract him, get your fingers in and down below the sand so that you're grabbing that worm about one to two centimeters behind the head. And that'll make a big difference in how often you're able to catch yourself a worm. Once you've managed to get hold of a worm and he hasn't slipped through your fingers, I'll often drop that second piece of bait and stick my other hand down into the sand to give myself a little bit of extra grip on the worm and then I'll work that worm out of the sand. And there you have it, you've caught a worm. Congratulations. Okay, we've just finished our worming session. We've picked up about a dozen beach worms. So what I'm gonna do now is show you how I prep these guys for later use. Let's go. Fill your container up with some fresh seawater and give the worms a wash off. This is to remove the slime that the worms secrete just after being caught. Once you've removed the slime, strain the water off by pouring the worm straight onto the sand. Now collect some slightly moist sand and put a layer of this sand at the base of the container. Transfer your worms into the container trying to keep them as separate as possible and finish off with another layer of slightly moist sand. You 
can store worms like this in a cool dark place and they should be good for two to three days. Well guys, that's the end of this tutorial on how to catch a beach worm. I really hope some of the tips that I've shared with you help you catch your very first beach worm. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I'll put a little place card up here of some of my favorite adventures. Maybe you'd like to check those out too. Cheers guys and we'll catch you next time.